Hi, it's Rich Tarani here reporting from CTIA 2010 in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Today on the program we've got Ronan Quinlan, who is the Managing Director of Tau Glass Limited. Uh, Ronan, how are you? I'm good today. Thanks for having me here. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So a question uh, that I want to ask first is, uh, can you tell us uh, how the company got named? Okay. Well, a lot of people ask that question because uh, it's a strange sounding name, Tau Glass, and it's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, I came up with the name myself um, to symbolize the combination of cultures for the company. I'm an Irish man, but I moved to Taiwan 12 years ago. Um, and I was involved in the Taiwan electronics industry straight from out of university. And then six years ago, I decided I'd like to have uh, my own business. I found uh, a, a good partner with Dermot O'Shea, who's joint managing director. He's in Ireland today. Um, and we, we came up with this name to symbolize the kind of cross culture between Ireland and Taiwan. So the Tao is Chinese. I mean, it's, it's the way in English. Um, and glass is, is green uh, in Ireland. So we wanted to have kind of a modern uh, outlook, a different type of company than what you normally get. We're not American, we're not Irish, we're not Taiwanese, we're a mixture. So right from the start, that's what we wanted to be. So this mix, mixed company for, that yeah. has the benefits of, uh, of all these different cultures, what, yeah. what have you produced now? What, um, what, are you, what are you guys doing? Well, what we are is the M2M antenna solution provider. So what that means is for the machine to machine market telematics, and um, we don't do antennas for like mobile phones or notebooks. We do larger antennas or what we would call more high performance or reliable antennas um, with very specific market needs. So those antennas would go into um, biometric devices for the U.S. government. They would go into smart meters that are going out into the, into the U.S. today, up on electricity poles in your house, in the smart meter control grid. They would need very reliable transmission systems. So um, where we can find a niche in that area, we build out our own antenna solutions. So I have some here today. I can maybe show you. Yeah, show, yeah. show me, please. Okay. Um, here we would have what we would call an external antenna. This would go on oil rigs or on smart meter systems outside the house. Um, what we have are cables coming out the bottom for GPS, cellular, Wi-Fi, um, basically multiple radios in today's system. So you might have location, you also need to transmit that data um, in a very hard, robust package. Um, so the, this is for business customers, they might need it in the Arctic, they might need it in the desert. It's, it's gotta be extremely robust. So that's one example. Um, from other solutions, from the external solutions, we go to very small solutions. This is for tracking devices in, in cars. So this is a large GPS patch antenna you can put the tracking devices now inside the trunk or in the engine compartment of the car. You don't need external antennas anymore. So thieves or anybody cannot find uh, the location of the tracking devices. This is a, a new generation antenna. Um, you guys will be the first to see it. Uh, oh wow, in the market. that's exciting. Yeah. So, um, and it weighs uh, it's a, a few ounces, I'd say it's four or five ounces. A few ounces, ounces yeah. It's not something you put ounces. in your mobile phone. Um, but it would be five times better than what would be in your mobile phone in terms, really? of, yeah, in terms of accuracy. Really? So you get it with antennas bigger really does mean better. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'd love to have a prototype. You throw one of these in my phone. Uh, yeah, that's, that. they, that's what people ask me all the time. <laughs> Do you have any antenna boosters? <laughs> yeah. The laws of physics don't, don't make that happen. Understood. Yeah, yeah. So I need a little bit of a bigger phone. You need a lot bigger phone. A lot bigger yeah, phone. Yeah. Huh? yeah. But we, okay. You, you know, if Apple is listening, if anybody else is listening out there, you know, We've got solutions, but you need to have slightly larger. How is Moore's Law affecting the antenna business? Uh, Moore's Law doesn't work in the antenna business. Um, what we, in the sense of the passive solution, what it can improve is what we call active technology. This, this here, is, there's a, a chip inside here. So that does boost the gain of GPS. However, it will not be able to improve the accuracy um, of the system. So basically, um, it's, it's a different business altogether. And, uh, a lot of customers these days want very small devices, um, but they should be educated to understand that with, with a small device, with a smaller antenna, the performance will decrease. That's why we would rather stick with the high end of the market in the M2M area than uh, to move into mobile phone area where the antennas would not be so highly efficient as we say. Understood. Okay. So that was the GPS antenna here. We also have, um, this is a cellular antenna, it works in five bands, so it works worldwide. This is a ceramic, high-grade ceramic, only one in its world. Um, 
using reflow soldering, we can solder that down on the board of the device. Um, again, you would not be able to fit this in normal phones, but uh, it would have the highest performance of any antenna size. This goes into uh, car companies um, because they need, vib they need to pass very strong vibration test requirements, 20G. So this would be tested for six weeks uh, for six, in six axes for vibrations on the board so it wouldn't fall off. So that would be one of its main benefits. Okay, so uh, again, we utilize our core ceramic technology in Taiwan to make that happen. But the design would be done in San Diego or in Ireland. So that's sure. where we get our benefits from this cross And this is similar ceramics uh, that are used in military uh, equipment that, that prevent um, damage in, in bombs and things like uh, that, that kind of ceramic? No, this is what we call a dielectric ceramic. So it's a RF grade ceramic. Okay. Um, and in that we have various grades as well. And the process is for ceramic manufacturers is extremely complex. So we need a multi-million dollar assembly line in Taiwan to make that happen. It takes three weeks to cook this wow. antenna. So it's like a, if you imagine ceramic plate at home, you know, you need to, what we call, put it in an oven and uh, it goes through about 12 stages to get to the final product. It's amazing. So it's, uh, it looks rather simple, but there's a lot of thought sure. that goes into it. Yeah, sure. So that's our ceramic antenna. And we also have very unique flexible polymer antennas. So the benefit is this is a cellular antenna. Um, this can be wrapped around the plastic of a product. So you can have any shape pr product. Traditionally, an antenna is um, needs to be put on the board inside the product. This one, we can, with a cable, we can stick it to the plastic shell underneath the plastic shell of the product. Uh, it's a nice peel and stick solution. So using 3M tape, we can just take off the 3M tape here and just stick it right to the, right to the plastic of the product. Very simple solution. Sure. Um, works very well. Um, this also has special properties for antennas that makes it a, a more high performance solution. So um, this would be going into military applications, into medical devices, um, areas such as ECG heart monitors and so on where they're bringing the tele, telecare and they need very high performance antennas because they can't have the risk of you know, patients not transmitting that information. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So okay. those would be some of our unique antennas in the market. Uh, Great. That's where we are. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on the program. We're okay. looking forward to uh, seeing how you uh, progress. Hopefully, yeah. we'll see you at uh, future trade shows. Okay, we definitely will be there. Thank you, Rich. Thanks for being Thanks on the program much. today. Okay. It was great.